An awful day today for hundreds of employees at one Georgia college. Georgia Perimeter told 282 employees that they will lose their jobs. Those cutbacks come as the Metro Atlanta College struggles with a big budget shortfall. And Fox High's Paul Yates has that story. Georgia Perimeter College expanded rapidly in recent years, but now here in Clarkston and on four other metro campuses, layoffs have been announced. 215 full-time staff members and 67 part-time employees were told their jobs would be cut. The college's interim president said his first priority was to protect classroom instruction. The school has been open now for almost 50 years. President Rob Watts said, quote, the college must now focus on the adjustments necessary to operate at lower staffing levels. It will not be easy. We will all need to be as flexible and patient as possible while we make the adjustments. Students told us they hope to get the classes they need to complete degree programs. How can they have job cuts? Everybody is going back to school. Since Obama been in office, he's encouraging people to go back to school. That's one reason why I'm coming back to school because of the fact that you need a higher education now to get a job. I hope they find some other way to resolve or can find some way to get some extra funds instead of having to cut back on what the students need the most. The layoffs do not affect tenured or tenure track professors. Mike Sakuda is a chemistry professor. So class sizes will, will be bigger, um, but and, and I guess there are going to be some cuts to some of the tutoring, things like that, which could affect some of the students, but uh, I know all the professors, all the ones that I know, we're all going to try and pitch in and, and do what we can to, to keep the quality uh, Hi. State auditors are now reviewing Georgia Perimeter's books to determine how the school developed a $16 million budget shortfall. In DeKalb County, Paul Yates, Fox 5 News. Well, Georgia Perimeter is the third largest public college in the state with about 27,000 students.